Example, 262 divided by 12. So let's put it into our long division format. We draw the den. The dividend, in this case, the 262 goes into the den. The divisor, the 12, goes out front. And we look at the first number in the dividend, the 2. Does 12 go into 2? Nope. 12 times 1 is bigger than 2. And again, if the first digit of the dividend isn't big enough, we just add another digit. So looking at the first two digits of the dividend is 26. Can 12 go into 26? Well, yes. 12 times 2 is 24. So the 2 goes above the 6, as we're working on the 26 in this case, and 2 times 12 is 24. And that goes below the 26, and we're ready to subtract. 26 minus 24 equals 2. And we have a remaining 2 in the dividend. So we'll bring that down. And now we have 22. Can 12 go into 22? Well, 12 times 1 is 12. So we put the 1 in the quotient. And 1 times 12 equals 12 down here. And we get ready to subtract. 22 minus 12 is 10, and at this point, we don't have any dividend digits left, so we know that we're done with our division. We're left with a remainder of 10 down here. So, our answer would be 21 with a remainder of 10, or we can write it as 21 and 10 over 12. Or, we can notice that we could reduce down that 10 over 12 and write our answer as 21 and 5 over 6.